I'm Rebecca Fryer with Kingstonist News. Here's what's making headlines today, August 16th, 2022. Kingston police, with the assistance of OPP and Kingston Fire and Rescue, removed a wide variety of items from Alterna Savings, a credit union located in the Norwest Plaza in Kingston's West End, after it was broken into in the early morning hours of Monday, August 15th. Among the items removed from the business as evidence was the safe from within the ATM. Kingston police confirmed the ATM had been tampered with during the break and enter, but did not expand on exactly what that meant. Also still a mystery is why OPP were called in to assist by Kingston police in the first place and why officers attending the scene were wearing what appeared to be hazmat suits. The situation remains an ongoing investigation at this time and Kingstonist will provide updates as more information becomes available. Following an extensive search for a break and enter suspect, OPP say they got their man. Just before 6 a.m. on August 14th, police were called to a large commercial property on Ramsey Concession 8 in Mississippi Mills. Police were told that a break and enter had just occurred, so officers requested the assistance of the OPP's K-9 unit to search the property. Several hours later, the K-9 team was successful, and 37-year-old Tyler Harpole of Sealy's Bay was charged. Not-for-profits and registered charities in Kingston can now apply for fundraising for Green Project grants from the City of Kingston. The Kingston Climate Change Action Fund was introduced in 2020 with the goal of helping eligible community organizations become part of the citywide solution to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. The application period closes on Tuesday, September 13th, 2022. You can learn more right now at Kingstonist.com. High school students in Kingston can now renew or sign up for their free Kingston Transit bus pass for the upcoming school year. Students entering grade 9 will have to show up to get their card for the first time, while returning students in grades 10 through 12 will have their passes automatically renewed. Kingston Transit representatives will be visiting local area high schools in the upcoming weeks to teach students about the bus system and to get them all signed up. For more details, including what to do if you or your student has lost their bus pass, check out the full article at kingstonist.com. Little League volunteer Steve Vallier was awarded the first ever Kingston Baseball Association's Doug Jeffries Award at the Association's year-end House League Tournament on Sunday, August 15th. Organizers say Vallier has been invaluable with contributions to Kingston's baseball community for over 40 years, showing tireless support of local sports and the young people who play them. KVA says the award is named for the recently retired sports broadcaster Doug Jeffries in recognition of his contributions to the KBA and Greater Kingston community. And lastly, Thousand Islands Pride is no more. Enter Gananoque Pride Alliance. The rebrand came about following a stressful Pride 2022 celebration that almost didn't happen and created tensions and strain within the LGBTQ plus community and the community as a whole. The new alliance is, quote, a work in progress, according to their website, which they hope to launch in September with a whole new vision, mission and philosophy focused on all inclusive queer and ally initiatives. For more on these stories and other headlines or to submit your own news, visit Kingstonist.com and become a subscriber today. I'm Rebecca Fryer. Have a great one, Kingston.